What's up, this Ronnie Ryan franchise, live back in those hot videos. Y'all seen Surfers Boy? I know y'all digging that joint. Did, did you do it? What? <laughs> yes. Did you enjoy that video? All the way. <laughs> One of my favorite videos yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to see a lot of it on Franchise Live, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So let me ask you this. What's up? We in Europe, right? We in Europe? We all the way in Europe. Okay. You yeah, a, we you, in London? You, you, London. All right, let's go to London. And you, you on the biggest station. Yeah. In London right, right now. Right, right. And the DJ was like, look, let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. I'm from London. Yeah. Could you tell me something about your city mm -hmm. that you love? <laughs> tell me what you love about your city. Because mm. I've never been there before. Make me want to come to your city. You better come and get your darn cheesesteak. Because I love me cheesesteak. I'm not supposed to be eating cheesesteaks. But I love me a cheesesteak. So you come and get you a cheesesteak. And I mean, Gino's isn't my favorite place. They, you know, they not my favorite place to go get cheesesteak. Right. But sometimes I like going to the corner store. So you make your way to a corner store and you get you a nice cheesesteak. If you go to like Lost Brothers or something like that, you know. Oh, you know what? I go to Majors, man. Majors, they got some banging hoagies right in me. <laughs> So you got to come there. I like to eat. I may not look like it, but I really do love to eat. So, and, and get you a Rita's water ice and a soft pretzel. Ooh, and that's what I'll do. That's what you need to do. If you come in, if you come into Philly, right. that's what you got to do. Well, it's necessary. Okay, now, would I have a great time in Philly? Like, where would I go right in Philly? I mean, you like, could... Like, like, entertainment. Like, what's popping in Philly? What's popping, I mean... What's popping in Philly? Well, it depends. Like, when you looking for some music? Yeah, you looking you, for a club? What you yeah, looking for? Look, look, I'm, I'm into jazz. Oh, you, so you in the jazz? Oh, you know, a great place. Very yeah. historical. Yeah. Warm Daddies. Ooh. Been there. I performed there. Yeah. Definitely a great place. Wow. You want to hear some live music, some mm. jazz, some bands, you, you know. Okay, so now... What's up? I'm in my hotel room. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find a uh, hot music video show. What, what show um, do I uh, try to find? Like, what's the hottest music video show right now in Philly? The hottest music video show in Philadelphia? Yeah, what's the hottest? It's called Franchise Live. I need you to go check that out, like, immediately. Yeah, my boy, Ronnie Ryan, like, oh, and, you know, he gonna make you do your job. Yeah, doing your job. Okay, so you need to go check him out. Okay. Ronnie Ryan, Franchise Live. Yeah. That's where you gotta go. You yeah. in your hotel room, you need some videos, you wanna check out some mm -hmm. hot artists? Yeah. You go there. Go there. Mm -hmm. All right? And yep. check this out. Now, check this out. What's up? You fast forward, right? Like, six years from now, right? All right. <laughs> now, you, you know, we got the number one album out. You've been in five movies, mm -hmm. you, you got a Grammy, mm -hmm. and like you the hottest thing right now. Flame. Popping, right? Just flame it. But now you have something else that happened in your life. Mm -hmm. You not only do you have all that under your belt, but right now, mm -hmm. you're the first female president of the United States, right? Ooh. And you've been asked That's to speak big. and you've been asked to speak mm -hmm. to an audience, right? Mm -hmm. What is on your agenda? Oof. What you want to talk about? What are you going to talk about, Suzanne? Oh, my gosh. We're going, oh, man. I don't even know where to start. Oh, gosh. We're getting into politics, but we, I'll be talking about some health care. We'll be talking about employment. we talking about all the things that I feel like really matter. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're not there yet, but I think our president, Barack Obama, yeah. you know, he can, he can make it happen. We'll see what happens, but, you know. That's what I would talk. I would talk about all the things that really, really matter right now. So then you got it. You know, education is right. definitely a major thing. And Philly, Philly, we need help, big help with the you education. Know I was with my son the other day, right? Right. This dude had no to tell my son, yo, you don't need education to make it in this world. Like, Who told him that? I don't know. He was like, you know what I'm saying? I looked at him. I wanted to, like, get into my Philly-ish. <laughs> I want to get my bag on him, right? But I, I, I fell back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't let me bring heat holders down here and have a talk with you, yeah, partner. Have a whole problem <laughs> up here in these streets. Up in here in these streets. So you know, what? I asked all artists come on this show. Now this is all number right. one question. What's the number one? Out of all the questions I asked you, we got a lot of people checking out the show right now, yeah. right? And everybody know that Suzanne Christine is doing her thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They seen the show, they seen the videos, and they know that you straight, you headed straight to the top. Mm -hmm. How can we curve youth violence or just violence and other stuff like to slow it down? Mm -hmm. I know we can't stop it, but from your perspective, That's how do you think we could do this? 
I think it starts at home, you know, honestly, we got a lot of children raising children. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's, 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 it's kind of sad because, you know, nobody really has any values or morals anymore. Mm -hmm. So, you know, with the whole Trayvon Martin situation, we had a, a, a white man kill him. However, we killing black people every day and it's no issue. Like, oh, it's okay for the black person to kill black person, but it's like a whole issue when you got another race killing a black person, mm -hmm. but we killing each other off day by day, you know, in numerous numbers. Mm -hmm. But I think, you know, it really starts at home, parenting, you know, people have to learn morals and values and it's not being instilled like anymore like that foundation is kind of like been wiped away mm. you know parents aren't teaching their children any values and morals these days but i think that's where it starts, it starts. you know if if it was some way somehow we could kind of like reinstill that mm. from a small child mm. and then you kind of when you get older you start to mm. know like you know this is wrong like I'm, i shouldn't be doing this i should mm. be getting involved in other things mm. you know they're taking away arts mm. programs yeah, yeah. you know program. they're taking away mm. uh you know, things at, at the recreational centers, you know, like different programs, swimming pools, closing, you know, mm -hmm. basketball, you know, mm -hmm. got to go home early to shutting them down early mm -hmm. because we can't pay people to stay here, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, it's a mess. All those issues, you know, yeah. if, if we were able to get our children involved in mm -hmm. more activities, mm -hmm. drill team, all those type mm -hmm. of things that was back in the day you saw a lot of, if we was able to bring those things back, mm -hmm. I think it would have helped a lot of them to kind of, mm -hmm. you know, not be thinking about killing this mm -hmm. person over these pair of Jordans yeah. or over this drugs and, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, I think that's, that's where it starts. Cause, yeah, because you know what, if you're in the studio and you like, because you know how long it takes when you're in the studio, you know. Oh, yeah. It takes a long time, it takes a lot of your time. Mm -hmm. If you're there, you're not out there doing no mystery. Nope, exactly. Yeah. Period. Point right. blank period. You know, I, mm -hmm. music definitely keeps me out of trouble. It's, it's been keeping me out yeah. of trouble, so. <laughs> Hey, music is a way of life, you know what I'm saying? All journal I listen to all kind of music. Now, I'm in the elevator with you, right? Right. This is my last question, right? We mm -hmm. in the elevator, stand next to each other, right? We like this. Like you knows you in the elevator, you'll never look at the other person, y'all just yeah, stand like this. Like this. <laughs> just like this. <laughs> Looking at your phone. Uh, right, yeah, looking at everything but the next person next to you. Yeah. <laughs> I always look at the next person next to me to, just in case I got to describe one if you do something to me. <laughs> yeah, he was just tall with a bald head. He had one eye and one tooth. But, <laughs> but look, and um, I got my headphones on, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm jamming like this. I'm checking out Grand Wizard Rashi, you know, 106.7, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm just chilling, like, chilling, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'm, I'm being nosy. You got your headphones on too, right? Mm -hmm. So I turned down my volume on my headphones. What are you listening to? I don't know. Right now, what I, are you listening to? the song that I've been listening to lately yeah. is uh, Titanium by this girl named Sia. Okay. It's a pop song. Uh, but that joint right there, uh, it's about bullying. Yeah. And, you know, it's just, it's, it's very relatable. I can understand it. You know, it's about, you know, people trying to shoot you down. Yeah. But, you know, you're made out of bulletproof. Like, it's okay. I'm going to get back up. Yeah. You know, I'm not down for the, for the count. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm going to get back up. Okay. So you checking I'm that joint out. I'm made out of titanium right now. Yep. Right. Exactly. That's, so that's, you know that's what? what I'm listening to. You going to rap over you gonna, Oh, no. And I, uh, I appreciate that, you know, different genres of music, you know, you just ain't say, you know, I'm listening to Jay-Z or Method Man or whoever, you know, man, check out Method, I'm listening to man. Yeah. <laughs> so, look, this is Ronnie Ron Franchise Live, you know, we ready to wrap this up. You got any outros, you want, you know, any shout outs to your people out there? Shout out to all the Suzanne Christine fans, Sudet, y'all know what that means. <laughs> Go look me up, www.suzannechristine.com. Hit me up on Twitter, um, S-U-Z-A-N-N-C-H-R-I-S-T-I-N-E. Hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, and now I'm on Tumblr, too. That's a new one. Mm. But shout out to all the Suzanne Christine fans. Shout out to my mommy, mm. my daddy, my brother, and all the rest of the fam out there. All the music fam, the real fam. Shout out to you, too. That's what's up. And I want to shout out my man DJ Cash Money, Grand Wizard Rashi, my man Brock holding it down, Heat Holders, and my son Ronnie Von Jr. Brock. Yeah, Brock, you know what I'm saying? Right Heat Holders and my girl, you know what I'm saying? You know, you, yo, we, we had a great time today. Shout out to Tamika on 51st Street. They watch the show all the time and keep watching Fran Chisel because you know what? We always want to have great artists like Suzanne Christine on my show. Mm -hmm. And I want to thank you for coming on. Mm -hmm.
Oh, great. Thank you for having me, man. And you know what? And you're going to be seeing her video. And every time you get a video, drop it on me, and it's going to go on rotation. All right? Because this is how we doing Philly, man. Right. So you know what? What's up? Do your job, man.